What's up everybody, Purger here. Today we're going to be reviewing and talking about the new Samsung One UI 6 update, aka Android 14 Upside Down Cake. <laughs> Funny name for it this time, but Android has come a long way since the first few software launches and phones that first were available in 2008. A lot was better on Apple's devices during the time. But being 16 years later, the Android side is not only getting more innovative, but it's starting to get rid of some of its bland, standard looks to craft it with a slightly prettier design. Such as easier to read notifications and logos with wider fonts for not only notifications, but all around the UI as the default. Next is better organization of the quick settings by, by organizing the Wi-Fi, quick bar, Bluetooth, as well as the smart things, your smart view casting, your device control, as you can see One UI 5, the old one is on the right, the new one is on the left, your brightness, Get your eye comfort shield and your dark mode quick setting. Not only is it more organized, but the best part of this update is the music player and the notification and the lock screen. In One UI 6, it shows the cover art of the music playing and an animated waveform of the progress bar, as opposed to the one on the right that is just bland. Samsung also redesigned emojis and One UI 6 for the keyboard and multiple applications. And other than that, DeX and Link to Windows are now supported for tablets as well in One UI 6. The camera app got a few changes, and one of them is an easier way to change the resolution and frame rate to record or take pictures. Like for instance, you can change a 12 megapixel photo into a 50 megapixel on the top of the screen opposed to going in the settings and doing it manually through the settings. The weather app also got redesigned being all blue now instead of switching to white or dark after going down the page. It also shows you slightly more information. The update also includes better lock screen customization. The phone on the left is my Samsung Z Fold 5. The one on the right is my Samsung Z Fold 2. In the new update, they introduced the ability to move the time anywhere you want and also resize it to your liking. The difference is you can't move it anywhere you want on the screen in One UI 5 and One UI 6. You can move it anywhere you want and you have more fonts and styles for the clock. Well, that's it. Other than that, they have two hand drag and drop on multiple applications, but I didn't get a chance to record that. They're going to add more to this features, and until then, I'll see you guys for the next video.